What's going on guys? Sky here from Tech Today back in our video. In today's video, we are uh, going to talk to you guys about the uh, HTC 10, the Huawei 7P, the iPad Mini 5, and a, a lot more. So let's get right into it guys. Let's start talking. Before I get started, I want to apologize real quick for the audio issues with the live stream. I've been having this every, all day now. I apologize. Uh, I don't know what the issue is. It's kind of annoying, to be honest with you, but I, I, I do apologize. I don't know what the issue is. Uh, I've been having all day, like I said. I don't know what the, I know. I don't know what it is, but that's why I have the music going on right now, so I can at least have some type of um, way to try to get rid of the bad noise or bad sound. So let's get right into the HTC 10. All right. So the HTC 10 is a brand new smartphone, as you guys know from HTC. We actually streamed the. We were going. We planned on streaming the event, but we didn't. We didn't end up doing it. So instead, we decided just to. Um, I do a whole bunch of videos on it. So it's a beautiful phone. I have to say, it's a great phone. It has a great design. Uh, I think it's much improved from last year. While it's not a complete departure from last year's variant, it is still a difference, and that makes a difference at the end of the day. So, I like it. I have to say, it's a nice design. It has a whole bunch of accessories for it. It's a good-looking phone. Uh, here's some all the information that you can even imagine about this device. Include the 5.2-inch quad HD display, 2560 by uh, 2560 by 1440, quite obviously. Uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 pro uh, processor, which some people have said it's pretty terrible. I uh, I haven't really had a chance to use it too much yet, but I have. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It, it depends on what you guys think. Android 6.0 HTC Sense, which is definitely much better than last year's. It's a lot more toned down, which is pretty awesome. Uh, it comes with 32 gigs of uh, storage with 4 gigs of RAM, which is pretty awesome. 5 megapixel front facing camera, 12 megapixel rear uh, ultra pixel uh, ultra pixel uh, sensor, which is rumored to be a lot better. Um, some, right, so, oh, by the way, did I mention that we're live streaming on stream right now? We're also we're doing this on stream as well. So, uh, one commenter asked. Oh, all right. So the stream unfortunately ended. Um, someone asked about uh, what's different from last year's. There's actually a few different things that are a little, uh, a little different from last year's variant. Uh, one major difference would be the um, camera, and that's at least what's rumored. It has a completely different design for the most part. It looks a lot better. It has a fingerprint scanner. has a whole bunch of different features that are, quite frankly, pretty awesome. Uh, and it's overall a great device. I definitely recommend checking it out. Um, I mean, it's a it's a good phone. It's not a bad looking phone. It, I think it's pretty awesome. Um, it depends on what a lot of people think, though. It's not necessarily what um, you know last year's consumers think. It's a lot of what new people are going to think about it. And I think HTC has a chance with it. I don't know how well they're going to do, but it's, they definitely have a chance. Next up is the Huawei 7P. As you guys might have heard, the Huawei 7P has been out now, or has been rumored to be uh, released at the end of the year. So as you guys can see, they had, they created a trademark for the Huawei 7P, keeping in mind, considering one of two things. Either Huawei is going to release a, uh, their own version of uh, their own phone, presumably called the H, uh, Huawei 7P. That may happen, because Huawei likes to do that kind of stuff. Or they might be going back for next this year's HTC, uh, or sorry, not HTC, Google Nexus 7. All right, so they'll be improving on the Nexus 6P or uh, Nexus 6P with the Nexus 7P. That would be pretty cool, and that would be um, definitely to say the least pretty awesome. I think a lot of people are, are looking forward to, uh, for this phone, including myself. It's a great phone. I've used it. It's a, it's, a, it's amazing to say the least. Pure Android. You can never beat it. You really can. Now, finally, today the iPad Mini 5. The iPad Mini 5. It's set to release, uh, be released at the end of the year, not at the Apple 20, uh, March 21st event. We actually streamed that very popular video. Check it out, guys. I don't know what's going to happen with the iPad Mini 5. I don't even know if they're going to release it. Because they have the iPad Pro. And they have the iPad Pro... Um, uh, yeah, they, have, they have the iPad Pro 9.7 inch, as well as the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. Where does the iPad Mini go in this? Where, did, where is it in this line of products? That's the problem. It is nowhere. It's nowhere to be found at all. So the question is, is Apple even going to bother with, with the next iPad Mini? I don't know. I mean, that's going to be a question I think Apple's obviously going to have to answer by the end of the year. If, if they won't release an iPad by the end of the year, the iPad Mini, maybe at the fall event, they're not going to be releasing a new iPad uh, Mini. I highly doubt it. I mean, the iPad Mini is a great device. I own one. I like it a lot. But no one wants it anymore. No one wants an iPad Mini. They want an iPad Pro or an iPad Pro... 12.9. They want a, a smaller computer or a big computer. They don't want a mini tablet anymore. or Because there's these phones now. I mean, I'm looking at my uh, Note 5, the 5.7 inch phone. 
it's not much different compared to my iPad Mini, which is 7.9 inches. Granted, it's a difference. It is definitely a difference. But I'd actually rather use my Note 5 in comparison to the uh, iPad Mini. So, I mean, that's a, that's a problem right now. That's what everyone is trying to say. That's the issue right now. Nothing else. That's it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about all this. I apologize for the mic issues, like I said. I know what's happening. I, I don't hear it now, but I know it's happening more than likely. If not, then holly you. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. But I do apologize for any audio issues throughout this. I'm trying to get it fig uh, figured out. So I, I do apologize. But thank you guys so much for watching. Put sure to like, comment, subscribe. Please be sure to let us know if you have any questions in the comment section down below, as usual. Be sure to let us know, as usual, like I said. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at RealSkyV. Be sure to follow us everywhere. Like us, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Links will be in the description below. Download our brand new Android app. Greatly appreciate it if you did. Very first link in the description below. But other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.